Hi, my name is Newell Davis with World Composting and today I'm going to give you an update on my parents' large homemade outdoor bin. So this is a large bin, it's two feet by four feet by two feet deep and it's meant for a lot of people and while they're only using half of it now because they don't always have as many people over it is still working really well but it's been five years since we built this and it is starting to really show signs of aging so I want to go over how it looks right now and show you maybe what I would do to fix it uh, if I have time we'll see if we actually get to that point it's a, and I'll probably do a video on that as well but let me show you how the bin looks today alright so here's the bin we have to have this plastic cover on top I made one mistake when making it I put the uh, vent on top here. This is a plastic piece. I'm just going to take this off and put it to the side. And I want to show you what's happening here. So this has been building up with water, this lid, and it has been eroding away slowly but surely on this corner over here. It's really soft. This is, and it was painted, but it's starting to erode away. We had some wood stops on the back here for the hinges. Those are also have eroded away. This grate has actually worked out pretty well, but I would never put one on top again. I would only put it on the front side. I would drill holes through here. Actually, this even feels a little bit soft. I thought this was okay, but uh, I think this is softening up too. Looks like this is going to poke through very soon. So let me lift this up here so we can take a look. I have to be very careful when opening it because I don't want the lid to fall off. So as you can see, it has one empty side and one side that's halfway full. There is as you can tell from the empty side over here, you can see down here, we have poles running across. And with those poles, the stuff can fall through and there's actually, let me see if I can go down over on this side. You can't really see them, well you can see them a little bit here. So you can see that there are buckets down there or the uh, totes. And those are the 10 gallon totes as well. So in here, as you can see, we have a thermometer, which is reading, Clean that off a little bit. It's reading about 80 degrees, so it's below that hot and composting point, which is good. You don't want it to be hot composting. It shouldn't be doing that. This is nice, soft material in here. Let's just dig in a little bit and see how this looks. And this is nice, rich brown material in here. Tons and tons of worms. Look at these. Tons of them in here. They're doing really well. One little fruit fly here. But they, they throw in a lot of stuff in here. Actually, there's a ton of fruit flies now that are coming up. That's okay, this is outside, so it doesn't matter. All right, let me just see here. Just to show you here, I'll zoom in right here. There's tons of worms in here. Let's let that focus again. Let's just see if we can zoom in here and see. So, they put in a lot of food. And there are a lot of worms in here. So it's hard to tell against this, this material, and I don't have a lot of light down here, because we're underneath the deck. So this is in the shade, and the way this is designed here, just we can go up to the sides here, and we've got this, this is a uh, insulation here. So we have a wood, this is a sealant, and then we have the insulation, and that way this keeps this bin nice and evenly temperature controlled as far as, you know, if you cool it down, it's not going to heat up right away. Or if you heat it up during the winter, it's not going to cool down right away. With tons and tons of worms in here, we can just see. They're really all over the place in here as I open this up. So it's really working well. Um, the only problem is, is that obviously it's really starting to fall apart. Now let me show you some of the other areas that where we're showing some issues or signs of issues here. So these posts, these are 4 by 4s They are still holding up pretty well in most of the corners. Uh, but this 2 by 4 right here is starting to go... And this, this front 4x4 four four, still structurally sound, but it is also starting to rot out. The big problem, though, are these plywood boards here. These are really finicky, and they really are starting to rot. And actually, I think this one right here, also this 2x4, is starting to rot out. Now, none of these, I don't think any of these were pressure treated. Maybe these posts were, but the 2x4s were not. And these boards right here, I don't think were pressure treated as well, although they probably had some sort of formaldehyde to hold them together so, you know, with their glues. But again... This is really starting to give, and actually, I mean, I could probably push on it and break it right now if I really wanted to, but they're starting to give. So, one of the things I might change on this, if I were to build this again, I'd probably put some sort of plastic. Keep the wood frame, maybe make sure I paint it a couple more times, really try to seal it off, and then use some sort of plastic backing here to really hold it off. And, um, you know... Just that way this doesn't rot apart like this. As I said, my parents now, they only really use one side of the bin. 
They don't use both sides anymore like they did in the past. They used to rotate also and go from side to side. They don't do that anymore either because, you know, they just don't have as much stuff since they don't have kids living in the house anymore. So one of the other things with this design, as I'm sure I've showed before, is we have a covering in the bottom here. And this is where we keep all of the buckets. And it looks like uh, there's some stuff that's falling out on the sides here over the, uh, the as time has gone on. It's probably starting to leak a little bit more. But we have these 10-gallon uh, totes in here to collect all of the stuff. And then, actually, let me just show you right here. We also have a latch up here. If I can get it in there. There we go. So to hold this open, so that we can get these tubs out. And you can tell, actually, this one is filled with uh, compost. <laughs> so I'll have to tell them, let them know that, so they can get this out of here and put it in their garden. Let's just check this one right over here. This one's kind of empty, has a little bit in it, a couple worms in the back there, you know, but um, overall, this one really, the one in the middle here, didn't have much as compared to this one on the left. So, but then, you know, obviously you can put this down, and we built a little lock here to keep it closed. So, but this is a, this is a bin that I, I'm, I'm thinking about taking from them. I think they're, they're done with their worm composting. I think they're going to start regular composting stuff. Uh, and I might want to take this from them and try to fix it up, but we'll see. I don't know if I'll be able to do that because it really is starting to rot out, especially some of these wood boards, a little bit more than I thought. Um, I was hoping it would just be these these uh, panels right here that were really rotting out, but it looks like it's more than that. So I might, I might have to actually rebuild this from scratch if I wanted to do something like this. So, and as you can see here, just on the lid here, it's really starting to rot apart. And this has been uh, kept under a deck, so I'm going to just show you here. It's been kept under a deck, but water gets through, so you have to be really careful. You know, when water comes down and rains on stuff, something like this, the so wood's going to rot out. So you really have to really watch it carefully and make sure that you're taking care of it. So otherwise you're going to get this fully rotting. Actually, I just noticed there's a huge slug here in the corner too. So they can also get in here. So anyhow... That's an update on this bin. I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown. If you have any questions about something like this, let me know. This is a, this was a great project that we built. It was a couple. It was a little expensive at a couple hundred dollars compared to, you know, some other ones. But it's a lot bigger and it's a lot more uh, sturdy. And this can really handle cold weather. This has been outside when it has been negative 10 outside and still functioning. So with this insulation that we have in here. You can really kind of, if, as long as you load it up with food, that food's going to heat up. You're going to get that hot composting, and it's going to keep this area warm enough for worms. Now, during the summer, you just want to make sure you have a little bit more area to add stuff in so it doesn't heat up. So you don't get this temperature spike into the green zone on this. That's why we have this out here, actually. Is that way we can make sure we monitor and make sure it doesn't go up too high. So... That's what I have as an update. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. If you have any, I don't have any plans on how to build this. This is something we sort of made up on the fly. But um, if you have any questions about how it was built, please let me know, and I'll try to answer them as best I can. I mean, uh, you know, we have the hinges on the back here for the lid. We essentially have two by fours going to four by fours on the corners. We probably these are probably overkill the four by fours. We probably could have used two by fours there as well. And then the insulation was two, you know, the the same thickness as these. Uh, two by fours and uh, I would not buy this insulation again I'd probably buy like blue board or the pink board or I think they have green board at some places that's a, a different type of mixture these are actually like a aluminum coated foam and these aren't as um, they're not nearly as organic so we, we have these sealed with the caulking like outdoor caulking uh, to keep it from stuff from getting in there but this is this stuff is not it has like apparently arsenic in it so I would never buy this again I didn't know that when we bought it uh, at the time so but that was that's how it's built essentially and then we have our PVC pipes with dowel rods inside for extra support to make sure it can hold the weight so you know I've, I've shown a lot of videos on this before but really if you have any questions I, I'm probably gonna end up taking this apart at some point and maybe I'll try to video that so you can kind of see how it's put together but uh, that's it's really a simple build it's just a matter of having the tools to do it you know to be able to cut these four by fours cut the two by fours and then make sure you cut everything to the right length. As you can tell, we have everything, you know, anchored up in sides. So everything kind of perfect length to here and then from here to here. You know, you just have those lengths that you just make sure everything's the same and that way everything lines up. And then it was, I think, one sheet of plywood and we had them cut it at the store to be the right size. So, 
I hope this helps if anybody's looking to do a big bin outside and uh, you know you just want to keep it loaded like this. I mean this has done really well. Uh, there are actually a ton of worms right here too. I mean there's just worms all over this bin. It's just amazing how well this is doing um, for being outside in this type of weather. You know where uh, it's just uh, there's always loaded and they throw in everything. I mean they throw in onions and you know there's no there's no limits to what they throw in. They throw in anything that's organic basically goes in here. So Anyhow, that's my update, and I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions on some of my other bins, I'm going to post some links to some of the other things that I run at my house, from the Urban Worm Bag to the Verma Bag, and also just my regular 10-gallon totes, which are really great for a starter system. This is a more advanced system for when you really realize that you want to be into worm composting, and you know it's going to work. You don't want to spend $200 or $100 and realize you're not going to do it. So that's it for my update. Thank you very much.